dude, how was that goal today? How was it? Good! Good! How'd you make that goal, man? What were you able to do? I slid as soon as the goalie was like picking it up. I slid. You slid right in? Alright, good job. Ah, that was good. That, that was, was CJ. He yeah. scored our only goal in that uh, that game this past weekend. So, so that, he is the leading scorer this season. That's right. Far. That's right, CJ. If you're watching this, you are the all-time Spartans uh, uh, goal scorer right now. With even just because you got one goal doesn't mean you're not the all-time leading scorer. It's the first year the Spartans have been around. So you're the all-time leading scorer. So you're the season leading scorer and the the all-time leading scorer. So good job, uh, CJ. You know that was a there, huge CJ. surprise. You know he he fought really hard in that game. You know he was getting he was getting knocked around a lot. Uh, so it, it it was a well-deserved goal. You know yeah, that's great. That's great. Now it sounded like you know they they did have a tough game, but they played their hearts out. They did. They did. Uh, you know they they played the Panthers. Uh, Panthers were were a pretty tough team. Um, you know, of course, the Spartans are still learning how to play together. Um, and I I will admit, the first 15 minutes of that game was pretty hard um, because it, you know everybody wasn't really keeping their their positions. You know, the defense was all over. But uh, you know, that's the point that the Panthers truly were scoring on them. Uh, after that part, though, they started just out of nowhere. It just started to click. Yeah, they started to match yeah. as the game went along. And, know, and they, they did really game. good, yeah. And and really, it was, you know, we had Austin up there at center all the time. We made him actually the uh, the team captain for the game, okay. uh, which was pretty neat. Um, and then we had his, his brother Brody was, was hustling out there. I mean, you know, you could go down the whole line. You know, we had Kyle. Kyle actually got kicked in the arm, had to come out for a minute. Ouch! Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a shocker. You know, I don't need any injured reserve players, Kyle, so take it easy. Yeah. Although he couldn't control that, so I don't know why I'm telling you to take it easy, but take it for what it's I was going to say, did he kick himself in the arm? The, yeah, he <laughs> didn't kick on, himself in the arm. So. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, you know, he, he, tried, uh, he tried his best. Uh, you know, everybody tried their best. You know, I, I had Corey out there, Danny out there, Drew was out there. You know, I mean, there's yeah, just... everybody going. Uh, you know, I have to name everybody on the roster, so I will just say good job to everybody this week. Um, because even in practice, and, and, and practice is key, especially for a first-year Division three team. What's, what's happening is... The younger players are starting. You're starting to realize where they really are good at, um, but you still got to move them around. Yeah, everybody's finding their niche. Their spot, right, their right. Spot you want to be field. able to use their niche, but then to be able to, you know, shuffle them a little bit and everything. A little you know? versatility in there. Yeah, it, and and it helps, you know. And in practice, you know, I know the the guys don't have the patience to do foot skills or <laughs> or the things like that. But I will tell you right now that the drills are going to help you win. Okay, you guys know how to play soccer. They definitely know how to play soccer. I'll okay. give them that. Now it's just a time to say, okay, now here's how you win at soccer. So, you know, keeping your lanes, you know, whatever it happens to be. So we'll be experimenting in practice this coming week, you know. Okay. Uh, last week, you know, several of the Warriors came. They were giving them tips. And, of course, it was, it was ew, look at the girls that are practice. You know, they didn't want any part of that. <laughs> well, but, you know, at that age, girls are icky. That's right. They get but cooties. if you're watching this right now, guys, now you know a little more about the girls who are playing with you because uh, they went undefeated this year, so they know what they're doing, and you know, and they were played in a championship game. You saw what happened earlier if you watched the highlights on the Warriors about you know they won five to two, you know, and they were staying spread out. They were holding their lanes. They were pushing up when they needed to. They were going back on defense. So those things are key. And and over time and over the next few weeks, I think they'll they're going to ease into that. Um, what's really nice is that there's a core team of guys who have played soccer before. So the, the basic concept is there. Now it's just a matter of, okay, where do we really shuffle you? You know, like Nick, is, Nick wound up grasping goalie. He wanted to do that. Aiden was the, the starting goalie. Uh, we'll still mix that around yeah, a little. Yeah, mix it up yeah. a little bit. And we'll see where everybody can play. In fact, I, I think, uh, uh, you know, I talked to Nick before, the, or when they, he showed up for the game, and uh, Aiden beat him out to, to be the goalie first. And, uh, you know, I, I says, well, you know, I'll, I'll keep Aiden out there the first half, and you'll go out there the whole second half. And he was fine with that, and then all of a sudden I just said, all right, you're just going out. <laughs> so, <laughs> just go, just go. Yeah, we got to give them their time. So. Well, what was the final score of the game? You never did. Final score of the game was uh, Panthers 4 and uh, Spartans 1. So, well, yeah, not bad. Something to build on. Not bad. Something, something to, to build, build on. Yeah, yeah. it was very and, – and really, to give them credit, uh, in 2008, the Warriors' first game, we lost 8 to nothing. So – there's skill there. I mean, you guys didn't get blown out. You only lost by three goals. I mean, yeah, the, the U.S. team loses by three goals, and 
Brazil loses by three goals. And if you watch MLS soccer, th- losing by three goals, yeah, it happens. Yeah. You didn't get blown out, guys. That's the important thing, and you did hustle. So, Remember, winning is great, but losing makes you stronger. That's true. So now you got to practice harder, play harder in the games. You'll be fine. Well so said. Fine. Well said. So I tell you what, let's take a look at one of our Spartans players. Uh, this week we're going to do a segment on uh, Andrew D'Angelo, who is actually the younger brother of Caitlin D'Angelo, who plays for the Warriors. She actually helped me with a uh, with a soccer tip last week. So uh, let's take a look at Andrew and see what he's all about. We'll cool. be right back. Let's check it out. Hi, everyone. It's Coach Craig, and beside me is Drew of the Spartans. He is our Spartan Player of the Week. Drew, we wanted, we wanted to have you on, basically, ask you a couple interesting questions about yourselves. Like, so far... You know, you've got your new Warriors jersey on, right? Mm-hmm. You digging it? Mm-hmm. Yeah? How do you like playing on the Spartans so far? Good. It's good? Yep. What do you think about practices? Are they getting harder and harder? No. No? Oh, then we're going to have to step it up, I think. That's definitely what we're going to have to step up for. Hey, how long have you been playing soccer, Drew? Um, a few uh, years? Probably I started when I was five. Oh, well, so you've been playing for a few years then, right? Mm-hmm. You like soccer? Mm-hmm. Is it your favorite sport right now? Yeah. Yeah? Do you play any other sports? Mm. Golf. Golf. That's interesting. Golf's a very interesting sport. I've actually played golf. It's pretty neat. So, so Drew, with, with you playing with the Spartans now, uh, we're a brand new team and everything, there is another side of Drew that your fans out there want to know about. They want to know, Drew, what kind of things do you do away from soccer? When you don't have the Spartans jersey on and you're just hanging out, what kind of things are you doing? Hmm. I ride my bike. I play video games if it's like a rainy day. I heard something about skateboarding too. Yeah. You're trying to do some skateboarding? Can you do some tricks? Not yet, huh? You're going to be able to someday, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, that's awesome. Well, for all your fans out there, why don't you go ahead and say hi? Hi. All right. Well, Drew is our Player of the Week. Thanks for coming on, buddy. Thanks for having me. Oh, no problem. All right. We'll go back to the studio right now. Wow, that was a great interview there. That was. Yeah, that we was got to learn interview. a little bit about him. You know, And he's been playing soccer before he came... Uh, uh, you know, obviously to be my player, um, but I was happy when he did want to. Uh, you know, he's a little older than some of the other guys, um, and it, it might be a situation like with Maggie mm-hmm. uh, that every other year I might get him back, you know, so we'll, we'll see what happens. But, you know, this year was really special because I did get to get a lot of the next generation players, you know, which was from four of them, you know, and including my son. I, you know, we saw yeah. Corey last week. Yeah, Corey was you know, he's here one here. of them, and then, uh, you know, Danny is, is part of that. He's uh, Rebecca's younger younger brother. Um, and then we also have um, uh, Gage, who is Madison and Maggie's youngest brother. So, cool. it, you know, it, it's, it's a family affair, it seems, anymore. So, you know, <laughs> it, it makes it fun, though, you know. Yeah, it's good so, time. And, and even, you know, one more thing to say about their game, you know. Uh, one, one of the traditions that the Warriors have always had with the parents, make the tunnel after the game whether you win or lose. And I tell you what, this Spartans game... After the game was the biggest tunnel I've ever seen. It was long, <laughs> and I had a hard time getting through it because, boy, the height was going way. You're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, something's <laughs> going on here. So, But, uh, yeah, so 